Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is the ex the Beachhead Expedition. I almost said uh, Expedition Season 2, but it's officially called the Beachhead Expedition. And we are on Phase 4, I believe? Yep, we're on Phase 4. So we need to do a whole bunch of stuff, including learning Gek words, learning Corvax words, Discovering nine more systems, get to the rendezvous, and visit the atlas. So, what I'm going to try to do, I think I've gotten all the uh, the words I can learn from here, but if you want to know for sure, if you see a visited underneath the, uh, a name, that means that you have already talked to them. I don't need any more Viking words. We've already learned all the Viking words we can. It looks like we're in a Viking system. That's why there's a lot of Vikings around, but... We have a couple of, uh, Gek. Oh, look at Gek. I've already visited him. And I think this is a Corvax. I've already visited that Corvax. All right. So, we've already visited all the aliens we can in this system. Whoa, buddy. Watch those wings, man. So, let's keep going. We also need to find 10, uh, systems. We need to discover them. And so, it's different. Just going to a system doesn't mean you found it. You have to actually find it. You have to be the first one to, to, to discover it. So what my secret is, if you go into your galaxy map, most people will follow that green line, or... Whoa, whoa. There's our uh, rendezvous way up there. Okay. They will follow the green line, or they'll go left and right. That's just a natural inclination. Even I do that. But if you really want to uh, find systems that you... that no one else has been to before, head on over here. You go up and down. If you go up and down... More than likely, not a guarantee, but more than likely, it'll be a system that someone's never been to. And so we're going to need to get away from the rendezvous, because if you're right next to a rendezvous system, everyone's going to be all over those systems. So you don't want to be in those ones. Yeah, like someone discovered by Lobardo 715 you don't want to be in that system. So... Let me turn my volume down a little bit. I'm blasting out everything. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna hit the rendezvous actually first and then we will go to a really far distant space. Okay, so We know that this is the rendezvous system. Let's hit this rendezvous before we do anything else because A rendezvous is gonna be hard to get to I don't want to get too far away trying to find other systems that no one's found yet. So You want to knock it especially if you're that close to a rendezvous knock it out real fast and then we can move on to the next one. So, oh, we know that this system's over here. And this is a rendezvous right there. Let's get this one. Oh, yeah, it's right next to the planet you come in on. I love that. And someone built a uh, portal. Or a, uh, yep, Rev 4 right there. Okay, so someone built a uh, base next to the portal. I'm assuming it's a portal. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Whoa, that mountain. It's a... Blue uh, volcano just showed up. What's um? Can I land? Please tell me I can land on here. I want to land on the edge of a volcano. Come on, no. Too high. Not clear. I'm sure. Dang it! All right, it won't let me. Oh man, it will let me crash into those uh, trees though. Looks like we're gonna have to go to the top of that mountain, that, that uh, volcano. But we'll find out, sure, as soon as we get out here. Come on, there it is. 1,000? Wow, okay, we're not even close. I thought we would have been close by now, but I guess not. Oh man, that jetpack is good. Holy cow, yeah, we've definitely been upgrading our jetpack. All right, so it's actually going to be way over here. And I wish they would not, not have taken away our cool jetpack uh, glitch up in the air. But they fixed it, and we can't really do anything about that. Um. Oh, yeah, we have a... Oh, we have a ton more batteries than we should. Holy cow. Okay. Batteries and life support. We have extras, so we'll be okay on that for a while. 600. Okay. So we're getting close. Now, do you think it's a portal? The other, All the other rendezvous so far have been portals. Do you think it's a portal? Or do you think it's something else? Let's check this out. I want to see. 
what is going on here. Can't really tell. Not yet, anyway. I'm guessing that comm station, or save beacon, is probably close to where it is. Is it a portal? No, I can't see anything yet. Oh, look at the dinosaur. It has a spikes on it. I like it. Anything here? Oh, it is a portal. Of course, it's a portal. Yep, portal is it. Rendezvous number four. So we've completed that. Let's get those, uh, let's get those rewards. Get our inventory, you know, more expanded. All right. Yeah, I think this is the only one. Yep. All the other uh, inventory space has been maxed out. So we have to do our cargo now. I love it. Got it. Call in our ship because I'm way too lazy to, to do it on my own. Walk over and find it, I guess, is the right way to say it. All right. So we have found Rendezvous 4. Now we need to learn some Gek words. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Is this a Gek system? Let's go into our map. Let's see what it is. Is it a Gek or a Corvax? Uh, no, it's a Viking system. You can tell by the eye. But if you expand it out, you can see it's a Viking race system. So... That means the majority of the aliens you see here are going to be Viking. Not all of them, but a majority of them. All right, let's go over here. We need to, we're limited to yellow stars only because our, our uh, drive, we haven't gotten any of those upgrades yet. Out of jump range. Way out of jump range. Wow, okay, we, we can't go that far, huh? Wow, we can't go that far at all. Wow, okay. Well, and let's go over here. Find some random stars. We definitely need to find some more um, hyperdrive upgrades so we can actually go places. Dang it. Out of jump range, out of jump range. Okay. You know what we're going to actually do? I'm going to call in the anomaly. So let's do that real fast. Because you can also go find the atlas if you uh, hit the anomaly and you talk to Polo. Polo will... We'll show you where it is. We'll do that. We'll also uh, see if we can get some upgrades in the back. We need to buy some upgrades because, man, this is hurting. Yep. Oh, man, look at my big body. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, my voice is kind of raspy today. I don't know what's going on with that. Really raspy. So let's go look for our upgrades first, and then we'll talk to Polo on the way out. So if you want to upgrade your starship, you have a, a starship upgrader right here. First one on the left. Come over here. Yep, 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 I know. I'm going to need some um, hyperdrive upgrades. So yeah, I have 2,000 nanites. I can, uh, I can totally unlock some of this. So cadmium drive. Yeah, we got that. We got the emerald drive. We have to do this in order, which kind of irritates me, but it makes sense. They, they make you unlock it in order. Like, you can't get to the Indium Drive unless you've unlocked all the other ones. But we could do... Oh, we're almost there, Emerald. We have 114 out of 250. Oh, we're almost there. That's the only one we really need is the Indium Drive. All the other ones are redundant. Once you get the Indium Drive, you can go to the other stars if you want to. I just need to get more Emerald. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. How much we have left? We have up oh, 1,600 nanites. So we can get some upgrades if we find one in like a uh, space station. Let's get to Polo. Hey, you're going to show me where the Atlas is, right, man? Uh, Atlas station coordinates right there. So this should lead us to the Atlas station coordinates. Now... Don't be afraid. He didn't mark anything. He didn't give you a map. That is totally normal. You're going to have to actually uh, go over and when you get outside into space, you have to pull up your galaxy map and then it will automatically mark it for you. But yeah, you don't get like a map. It doesn't stop anything while you're, you know, talking to Polo. So now we're out here. Let's open a galaxy map and it will mark the nearest Atlas station to us right now. Let's see. There we go. Anomaly detected. 
Where are you at? Where are you at, Atlas? Right over there. So that should be a, a system we can get to. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's one, like not even that far away. Let's get to it. Boom, it's a Corvax system too, which is good. That way we can learn some Corvax words, hopefully. And the other thing I love is you can learn words on the Atlas uh, station. So I would go there and just learn some words. Oh, here's the Atlas station right here. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go in and land on it for it to count. So let's get in here. And boom. Yeah, we have to get out. Just like wouldn't be other milestones where you had to land on a specific planet. You're probably gonna have to go and like walk around on the Atlas. You have to get out of your ship. Oh no, never mind. You don't even have to get out of it. You just have to fly in. Okay. Well, thank you for making me look like a liar, game. Dang. That's okay though. Once we land, there's, I will show you how to learn some uh, easy words. Now, it's a random thing, and I don't I don't know specifically if there's a uh, order you have to do it in, but I will show you that you can learn words here. So you see these little orbs on the ground right here? You, if you run into them, it will it has a potential of teaching you a word. That one didn't teach me, but watch. One of these will. A few of them usually do. So, uh, oh no. You better you better not make me out to be a liar. Come on. It's happened before. But yeah, and so you just have to run into them. I don't know if there's a specific order you have to go into. and I don't know if all of them are the same. I have no idea. All I know is that if you hit all of them, you will run into a couple of them at least. Come on. They teach you a different word. Are you kidding me? Wow, not gonna teach me anything, huh? Wow, what the world? Well, let's get up here. Let's hit this one over here at least. This one up top. Okay, we learned an Atlas word. That's not really gonna help us. We need to learn uh, Corvax and Gek words, but it taught us an Atlas word, so I'm not. A, I'm officially not a liar today. Dang it, game! Come on, teach me some other words. Other words, come on! And we know that, oh, another one for Atlas. Okay, for Traveler. All right, so if you want to actually find all the Atlas seeds, you can actually do it from here. So if you want to follow that one, all you have to do is activate that blinking red terminal up here. If you activate this, it will actually start the Atlas seed quest line for you. So you can totally do it. Now, I don't know any Atlas words. That's why I know two, and this, that's not very many. So that's why I can't really read anything it's saying. But you need to make sure you're you're up on your milestones. So you have to be learning words. You have to be gaining experience. You have to be you're walking a certain distance. You have to do that. So let's accept it. It will give you a, a, a gift of blueprint. And all you have to do is keep doing that. You keep making those blueprints. And you also keep visiting the different Atlas terminals. And you will follow the Atlas path. You can also go into your uh, log. And you go, you follow the Atlas path and it will show you how to make all the seeds for the Atlas. We're not doing that right now. Oh yeah, wait, wait, we already did our expedition. So let's actually accept the reward. Inventory slot, Hexite, Fragmented, Qualia, qualia and Liquid Sun. Okay. So we got our, our inventory upgrades in here. Oh man, we have tons of room now. We can make some, we can move some stuff over there. So we did that. Woo, that one's done. So now let's go, uh, let's go learn some Corvax words since we're in a Corvax system. We're gonna go to the space station because we can uh, learn some words, maybe buy some hyperdrive upgrades because we're gonna need to be, we're gonna need to travel a while. And we also need some um, um, emerald, which is gonna be kind of a pain. We need to get a green star. Let's get over here, boom. We need to go to a green star system. We have emerald here, but we don't have enough. I wonder how I got that. It was a gift, wasn't it? I think it was a gift. Nope. On the other side, I'm gonna crash into it. Oh no, almost, almost didn't get it. That's all right, that's okay. Let's learn some words while we're in here. Let's move some stuff around as well. So let's move our, our uh, life support gels and stuff over here because you can actually stack more of them in there if you're in your cargo. See? 200 instead of the regular 100 in your normal inventory. So that justified that. 
Ah, we'll just do this. Boom, boom, boom. Liquid sun, hexite. Get those rare materials. I love it. All right, so we're here. We're going to expand our inventory because we can. We got our uh, our upgrade, our free upgrade for getting to the rendezvous point, our augmentation. So let's do that. Done. Let's get our our bulls buy one for our exosuit, just to make sure we have it. Oh yeah, we don't need you. We need a hyperdrive upgrade. That's what I'm focused on right now. So let's do that real fast. Come on, hyperdrive upgrade, please. Hyperdrive module, perfect. And a launch thruster module, okay. Let's grab one of those. Just because. Let's also upgrade our multi-tool. Since we have it, and I want to get rid of it, take it out of my inventory. That way it's not taking up any room. Hyperdrive, yes, perfect. Oh, let's move this thing out of the way. You're not a hyperdrive upgrade. Oh man, we definitely need some more hyperdrive upgrades. Wow. That's all right, launch thruster upgrade. Boom, oh yeah, we also need a magnetic ray. I, I've been flying around with this thing and I haven't fixed it yet. I definitely need to do that. All right, let's see if I can buy some magnetic resonator while I'm here. If not, we can go to a minor settlement. We could totally buy one there. Nope, they don't have any. Dang. I can't really sell anything, can I? Mm, no. No, we're good. I'm going to keep all my my rare materials. We actually, we do have uh, scrap metal. Let's see if we can buy anything from here. Because we do have scrap metal. Oh, we don't have enough for anything really good, though. Uh, suspicious packet. I mean, I guess. We can buy one of those. That was all I had. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can get out of here. Platinum! Great! I don't need that, but thank you. We can refine the rest of that. Oh yeah, warp cell. We don't need this in here. We need to put it over there. We need some emerald. What do we kept? Can I get rid of stuff for em from emerald? That gives me cadmium. That gives me solar mirror. Does any of this stuff give me emerald? No, no, no. I, I should know the recipes, but I'm really bad at that. Um, deuterium. Nothing gives me emerald. Okay, that's okay. Let's talk to some of these Corvax over here and learn some words. We need nine more words, so we need to talk to nine more uh, Corvax so we can learn some words. So this is our first one. Yeah, and I'm not really, I'm just like last time, I'm not really gonna pay attention. I'm just gonna be going through this menu as fast as possible so I can learn the words as quick as possible. If you guys really wanna read it and find out what's going on, then you can just pause the video if you'd like. But I don't wanna, especially, these, vid these videos are really long anyway. I wanna make sure they're packed full of content I mean, you know, as best as I can. <laughs> Sometimes it's just boring and like, okay, that was not a really productive one. Oh, hireling, oh no, I think he's gonna be a hired. No, 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 okay, D dialect help, okay, got it. I was worried that he was gonna be like my overseer or something, or my farmer. Come on, yep, perfect. We might be able to knock out the Corvax in this one, and then we just have to go to a Gex system. And we'll be good on that one. Um, I think we're... I think we're set on everybody in here. Visited, visited. I haven't visited you. I thought I did. I thought I already did, but I guess not. Wow. What about you guys? Oh, I have not visited you. You guys are hiding over here. Visited, dang it. Sorry, buddy. I already talked to you. Sorry, sorry. I know you're excited. Where are we at? Where are we at? How many words do I need now? 
Oh, Gek, I'm at eight. And Corvax, I'm at seven. Oh, man, I'm almost done with the Corvax. And Gek, I only need two more. Let's see. Let's go to the cafe area over here. I always, I call this the cafe area, be, area because it's usually like a table set up and there's different aliens in here. And so maybe we'll get a couple more uh, Gek. Oh, come on. Two more Gek. That's all I need. Oh, dang it. No. No, sorry. I can't hire you. I don't have a base, man. I'm sorry. You were the one I was worried I got I talked to earlier. Let's see. I'm going to give you carbon. Oh, give me some nanites. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, no. I don't have an exocraft terminal either. I don't have a base. Man, all these guys are ready to go here. I just don't have a base for them. Dang it. All right. That's okay, though. Let's go learn some words. We can land on any planet, really. And we'll just go for some knowledge stones. We only need, what, two or three for the Corvax. Oh, radioactive planet. It has uranium on it, so let's go to this one, actually. I like having uranium to refill my uh, launch thrusters because I hate having a uh, those uh, launch thruster fuels because they just take up room and you can't really use them for anything else. You can use uranium for a ton of stuff. You can't use launch fuel for anything other than launch fuel. <laughs> All right, there's a uh, building over here. Uh, maybe, possibly, it was a liar. Dang it, that's not a building. I've not really seen anything. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything in here. Okay. Oh, no, come on. Where is the, uh... There's no... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have one? Do I have an economy scanner? I do not. Let's see if I can make one. I can't even make one, dang it. I wish I had the recipe. I didn't pick that up when I was at the Space Anomaly, though. Dang it. Well, here's a lot of land over here, so we should be okay. Let's land here. Give me some knowledge stones. Knowledge stone right there. Beautiful. We're right where I land. Well, not right, but basically where I landed. I like it. Anything else around here? I got a humming sack over there. Unknown building, but there's nothing there. I wonder what it is. Oh no, it's technically a build. Whoa, wait a minute, it's off. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. What is that? That is, oh, uranium's right over there. I could totally go get some free uranium. Was that a... What is that sound? It's throwing me off, scaring me a little bit. Okay, okay. I don't see any more knowledge stones. Come on, knowledge stone. I don't know I'm building over here. Trying to get a couple more knowledge stones. That's all I need. And... Really? Man, knowledge stones are hard all of a sudden. Dang. Can't find any of them. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Is this a crashed ship? 
This is. And it's really dusty over here, too. Look at this guy. This is a C-Class Explorer. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I want it. I mean, it looks okay. It's a C-Class, but eh. Eh, I'm not too, I'm not too into that, but eh. There you go. Let's get rid of this while we're here. Maybe we'll get a free upgrade. Like that, a mining beam upgrade, I'll take it. Oh man, I don't know what the percentage is of upgrades and how you get them, but man, I feel like I'm lucky because I always get upgrades, it's crazy. I can't get knowledge stones though. Come on, knowledge stone. It's the one planet that doesn't have a lot of knowledge stones around, come on. Oh, that was a terrible thrust. There you go, that was better. Am I just losing my mind? Come on, Knowledge Stone. Curious deposit. Let's see what we have over here. A runaway mold. Oh, you definitely want that. I can make a whole bunch of nanites out of that. And they're all runaway mold. Whoa. That's okay. I'll take a whole bunch of this. Even if the sentinels are going to come after me, I'll take it. 300 runaway mold. I get some good nanites out of this. Come on, sentinel. You can do better than that. Come on, get me. We're getting tons of runaway mold out of this. Oh, yes. Look at that. We're getting over. We're getting pretty hot. We're getting pretty hot. Oh, no. I just activated all of them. You don't usually want to do that because then they start rolling all over the place. You don't know where they went. Oh, no. Where'd they go? Oh, we're over here. Down in a cave? Oh, no. I thought that was a cave. Oh, God. Give me all that runaway mold. 300 per. I like that. We have thousands of runaway mold at this point. I'm loving it. We can make a whole bunch of uh, nanites out of that. You want to keep your, uh, your mining tool really hot. That way it refines or it binds faster. One down here. And I'm pretty sure I lost a couple of them, but we'll let it go for now. Keep going, keep going. The Sentinels seem to be more aggressive on this planet, but man, they don't want to follow you. Like they're aggressive, but lazy. Oh, Starship Shield module. I can sell that. I had two upgrades for the two... Uh, Broken modules I've gone to. I like that. That's really good. Knock on wood. Hopefully that continues. Oh, knowledge stone. Perfect. Get up here. Oh, come on. Let's just go, go, go. I know the sandals don't like me already. Come on. Let's keep going, buddy. Keep going. What is that? Silver? That is a silver deposit. We do need some health. I'm going to have to get some health. But I'm going to get this knowledge stone first. Come on. Oh, is that a double knowledge stone? Oh, I think it is. Let's get this. I'm going to get nanites out of this one. Just because I don't want to push my luck. Yeah, we got nanites. I got two upgrades in one shot, so or in the first two. Yep, and it's a double knowledge stone. I like it. We should be there then, right? Are we good? Yes! Corvax word, linguista, linguistic decoding. I love it. Oh, let's go and accept the reward. Get this one. 
Corvex Convergence Cube, Supreme Hyperdrive Upgrade. Yes. Perfect. So instead of walking all the way back, because I'm really lazy, I'm just calling in my ship. We're going to put another uh, Hyperdrive Upgrade in there. Yeah. Now we do have a C class here, so I'm going to get rid of this one. It's an extra 56 light years compared to 225 and warp efficiency, so we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that one. And it didn't give me anything I wanted, really, so eh. I mean, I would love to have gotten some emerald from that, but I don't think that's in the cards for now. Radiation I know. Let's go. Boom. I didn't get any... I did not get any uh, uranium, which was the whole point of coming down here, but eh. I'll live. It's okay. We installed a hyperdrive. So now we can go even farther with our hyperdrive. Let's go. And we're going to just go as far as we can. Oh, wait. We got the next signal for the anomaly or for the Atlas seed. But we're not going to follow that one because I want to discover some systems. We need to also find a GEC system as well. So we're going to be a little bit picky with that. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. GEC system right here. Boom. Let's do it. So then we'll be able to just land on the space station, talk to some GEC, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully this is a system that no one else has discovered, too, so I can keep going with that. Uh, discovered by Kraken30. Dang it. Kraken, you were here before me. That's okay. Got some GEC in here. And we have our runaway mold. Look at that, 6,000 runaway mold. I love that. Or we could sell our uh, Starship Shield module. I mean, we can use it technically, but eh. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Hey, look, twins. There, there's so many more twin aliens on it. Oh no, he's a helper. He's agriculture. Sorry, buddy. I can't use it. I don't have a base. I'm sorry. I'll talk to your brother, though. Hey, you want to teach me a word, right? Yeah. And teach me. Boom. Perfect. Give me some more gek. Oh, there's more twins. What in the world is going on? Why are there so many twins? I don't know what happened with the expedition update, but man, they're making twins all over the place. I think we're good, right? Here we are, yes! Learning all the words. I love it. So let's get in there. Expedition, where it'll accept the reward. Yes, perfect. I learned the, the uh, translation technology. Okay, I like it. So, man, I should have done the Gek first, I guess. I got Nip Nip Buds. Oh, yeah. Standing increased. And no, we didn't get a, a Supreme Hyperdrive module upgrade. That's okay. We're going to sell our A-class shield, and we're going to buy a... Uh, dang it. We could buy a launch thruster module, but that's about it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry about that yet. I think we're good on all of this stuff. Let's use these uh, Hyperdrive cells, okay, just to get them out of the way. Get that out of the way. Got him. Need some emerald, dang it. Need some emerald. Die hydrogen right in here. Actually, can we do that? Yes, we can. Boom. Actually, there we go. I don't know why, but I always like to have my ion and support gel on the right side. I don't know why. It just has to be that way. Sorry, guys. has to be that way. There, there, there. Special stuff over here. All right, we are good to go. So now we just need to find 10 different systems. So my expedition for the last one we need is chart 10 systems. So again, like we did last time, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go down. We're just going to go down. Actually, we'll probably go up just because I, I want to go in the kind of the direction of the, uh, the next rendezvous. But you don't want to be there because if you're close to the rendezvous, everyone's going to be there. So of course. You don't want to go that direction. 
Um, we're gonna go up all over here. Let's see. Can I go here? I can go to this one. Boom. Hopefully this is far enough north or I don't know. Would you call that north? No. Far enough up in the system that uh, it's undiscovered. Once you find one undiscovered system, you're pretty good because in all the other systems around you're probably going to be undiscovered as well. So we're not far enough yet though. So let's keep going up. We got to find yellow stars because that's the only one we can go to now. Let's go. So yeah, we're what? 600 or a thousand light years off of the main path. So come on, undiscovered. Nope, yucky Dave. Dang it, yucky Dave. Let's go up even farther. Right here. We're going to do a Gek system. I like the Gek. So, yeah, we're pretty close. Come on. We got to be getting to the point where no other people have discovered these systems, right? And discovered by Halith. Wow, man, so many people. Maybe I should have gone down instead of up, but if I go down now, I'm too late. Um, oh yeah, but let's see. Uh, outside of jump range, dang it, okay. So we have what, 700? About that, okay, like 684. So about 700 light years we could go. Let's see it, come on. Undiscovered, please. And first contact, yes. So this one counts, first contact. Actually, let's, let's see that. Um, Expedition mode, let's uh, highlight what we need. So that way that one pops out up at the bottom right-hand corner. So we know what number we're at. We're at two out of 10. So now we know we're in undiscovered territory. So basically any other star we go to is probably gonna be undiscovered. Not a guarantee, but probably. Let's get in here and get some of these undiscovered locations. And come on. Oh, right through that asteroid. First contact. Get some of these done. Let's go over here and we'll go right there. Boom. Kind of go in the same direction as the uh, expedition. Not exactly, but similar direction as the expedition. Oh, purple. I like this purple system. What is this? A fissured planet with aggressive sandals. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Woo. My, my voice is going and I haven't really been talking. I think it's because I took some time off and now all of a sudden my voice is just not ready to go anymore. Woo. All right. That's okay, though. We're almost there. I like my... My ship is purple. I like it. They really need to. Sean Murray, if you're listening, you need to put in some purple, like real purple ships. I will take a, a really like a bright purple or a, kind of a weird off purple. Something that is obviously purple. Not like kind of purple or purple in some light. Like there's a lot of blue colored uh, starships that are purple in the right light. But I'm like, no, no, I want something that is like pimp purple something really purple that'd be amazing something like this purple look at that that would be a good purple right there oh it's telling me to go down so i know i'm close to where the uh the rendezvous point is let's go over here boom so yeah i know i'm close because it's telling me to go straight down now so i'm probably in that general vicinity of the uh, next rendezvous point. But we need to find our, our last few discover undiscovered systems. How many are we up to now? Oh, seven! We only need to find three more! And notice I'm not, I'm not uploading these either, so in the future, I'm not uploading these. You might be able to find them again. I'm getting dangerous now. I'm going down. I'm going back down. These ones might already be uh, found. Come on. Discovered. First contact, perfect. Eight, so we need two more. 
Let's go this one. Emerald? Nope, that's a green star. We need a yellow one. There it is. Yellow star. And again, you can also go to the green and the red and the blue stars, but you need an upgraded hyperdrive for that. And the re if you need an upgraded hyperdrive, it, it cuts out other people. So it pulls up the chances that it's undiscovered because how many people have gotten their, uh, their upgrades for their ship yet? Probably not that many. Not that many people are trying anyway. Hey, no, no, not that one. That one. Because I can't go to a blue star. I don't have an upgraded uh, warp. Come on. This one should be it. If it's undiscovered anyway. First contact. Oh, it popped up and then disappeared. No. Well, we can, sh we can see it now. Yep, here it is. Supreme hyperdrive upgrade, a storage augmentation times four, and a supreme mining beam upgrade. Yes. I like it. Let's get in here. So we got our, our mining beam upgrade. Let's put that baby in there. And a hyperdrive. I will take the hyperdrive. I'll just pop it in here. Because you're only allowed to have three per, you know, area. Three per inventory selection. So in your general, you're allowed to have three. And then in your technology, you're allowed to have another three. Let's get over here. Let's see what, number one, let's see what you got. What do you got for me? Got some shields or some hyperdrive upgrades. We have a hyperdrive upgrade, boom. And a positron, oh, positron ejector. Ooh, I want it, I want it. Mm, we're gonna go with the hyperdrive. That way I can go wherever I need to. You know, I'm gonna be the responsible adult. Let's get our inventory upgraded. Perfect, and we also got more inventory space for our starship. We have our augmentations, so let's do this uh, upgrade starship. And come on, apply. We got three more. One, two, three. Oh, we, we, yep, we got three more. Boom. Storage augmentation. So we have more than that. What the heck? Am I maxed out? Did I not pay attention to that? Is it? Am I maxed out? Oh, no, no. It just was acting weird. Okay. It just didn't want to give it to me for whatever reason. It kicked me right out. I thought I was done. Your ferrite. There we go. Up oh, a hyperdrive module. Let's put that baby in here. That way we could really get some good distance. We're already up to 1,200 light years. I love it. All right. So heck yeah. Oh yeah, we need to accept our, our reward for phase four. Let's see what reward we get for phase four. We get uh, armored shoulder pads, armored chest piece, and armored leggings. Okay, so we get the armors for the... Uh, yes. Perfect. Let's see. Accepted it, right? Come on. Phase four. Expedition reward received. Perfect. So awesome. That is phase four complete. Totally done. Let's look at phase five. Now that we have that one done, what is this one? We have to get to rendezvous five, and then I don't know what's going to happen after this because it's all unable to decode. What is this? We can't decode any of this stuff. I mean, I'm guessing we have to go to Polo and Nada and they will help us out, but we need to get to rendezvous number five. So we're going to do that in the next episode. Hopefully you guys like this one and I'll see you guys next time.